Hey everybody, the Reese Wirrell here, and welcome back to more of Threads of Fate. Okay, um, I'm just trying to think what I can do. I know I can go back to Klaus, and basically tell him about the underground mystery. I still want to go back there. Is it over here that leads to the field? So I could give, you know, I could try and give Rod a thrashing again. Not the last time he thrashed me, so maybe not. Oh, he ain't here. Where is he? Is he here? No, there he is. Never mind. You here to fight? Sure. Fight. I want to give him another go. Cough up the 100G. 10 to 1. Alright. Let's get it on. Bam, bam. Bring it on, Rue. You're not getting my 1000G. Ow. Ow, ow. <laughs> Just keep whacking away. I win, I think. Are you alright? Good fight. You've got a lot of potential. Here's a 1000G. Hey, anytime you feel like fighting, come by here, alright? Hell yeah. Nice. There we go, I beat him. Worth it. <laughs> Wait, I now have enough. Enough, I think. I keep pressing triangle to bring up the menu. I'm so used to that. Uh, yeah, I now have enough to get another upgrade from Hobbs. Ha! Nice. Actually, now that I think about it... Would I be better off buying from Tonio? <coughs> I hate how Cancel is at the top. Yeah, I can buy the silver belt. Sure. It's not much of a difference, really, between getting the silver belt and whatever I would get from Hobbs. I don't think. I think I'll probably get more from the belt, actually. Alright, before I actually move on, go back here and just rest. Hello. Uh, recover. There we go. Booyah. God, look at my... Not health bar, look at my MP bar. It's huge. I wonder when it actually reaches, like, max length. <laughs> It's got to get to a point where it stops getting bigger. Oh, there's Eleanor. There we go. Hi, Polly. Is all you say. I just spoke to Mint. She's really a funny person. <laughs> she is. My dad's waiting for you in his room. Let's go, then. I can't jump down. Why? Man... <laughs> Bro, thank heavens, you're back. Doctor, I'm sorry. What's wrong? Did something happen at the ruins? Um, I was mugged. <laughs> Basically. So, this Bell and Duke took the tiara from you. I'm sorry, I was careless. Ah, don't worry about it. I'm sure we can get it back somehow. For now, let's do research on this cube. Looks like this will keep us busy for a while. I love the music in here. I just love the music in this game in general. It's so good. You know, you came back at just the right time. I just found something very important. What is it? Well, you know those materials we brought... We brought back from the Atelier. I looked through them again while you were gone, and you're not going to believe what I found. The location of the relic. I know where it is. Really? Yes, there is no doubt. In fact, it's located very close to Corona. The relic is at the Lake Ruins. Oh yeah, Eleanor told me about a lake. There's a lake not too far from here, with old ruins floating in the middle. Until now, nobody had a clue. Who built them? Who would have thought that they were built by the Aeons? So, that's where the relic is sealed? Yes, Elroy was trying to break the seal at the lake ruins. This cube was made for that very purpose. Then we can use it to break the seal at the lake ruins and get the relic. Theoretically, yes. Unfortunately, it's not that easy. We're definitely supposed to use this cube, or the cube. The only question is, how? Oh, I can actually walk now. Look at this thing. It's just a cube, a cubic block. There's no way to open it or do anything. Without some kind of instructions, I have absolutely... Oh, I thought I said, I absolutely have. I have absolutely no idea how to use it. But we're so close to getting the relic. Doctor, isn't there any way we can find out how to use the cube? Hmm... We could try asking her, but... Actually, I'd rather not deal with her. Who is this person? There's a magician named Fancy Mel. She lives in an atelier beyond the forest. 
I honestly don't know how to describe her, she's just weird, I guess. So I'd rather try to stay away from her if possible. I don't think we have a choice. Or have any choice. You're right, but... You don't know her. She's so... If you go see her, you'll regret it. Trust me. But... Unless we find out how to use the cube, we'll never be able to get the relic. Doctor, please, give me the cube. I'll go ask Fancy Mel. I'm sure we'll be able to find out more about it. Alright. I'm making you do so much. Thank you, Rue. I'll give you directions to Mel's Atelier and also directions to the Lake Ruins. Thanks. I'm counting on you. I've been to Mel's Atelier once. It was a very scary place. I left right after I got there. I didn't even bother meeting Mel. I heard Mel is quite popular among ki kids. Fancy Mel is amazing. She doesn't age. She is a very powerful magician. Oh, okay. Right, well, before we go there... Oh. Maybe I won't get a choice. <laughs> hey, where are you off to now? I'm going to Fancy Mel's Atelier. Your father told me that it's in a really strange place. Do you know anything about it? Fancy Mel? Oh, the Crazy Witch, right? I know her place. Crazy Witch? It's a very fun place. I'm sure you'll like it, Polly. What do you mean by fun? Oh, you'll find out. <laughs> okay. Fancy Mel, this is in a very fun place. Cool. Right, I'm going to the Underground Ruins. First and foremost. It's just the, the better choice, I think. I'm actually going to see Doyle. I don't know, I remember reading somewhere that you can buy coins, but I don't know how. Or where. Oh, unless it's if you pff, give money, maybe. I'll just say I have, yeah, and I'll donate two grand? I don't know. Would you like to make a donation? I don't really get a choice, do I? Five grand! A thousand. Oh, wait a minute. That's for bronze, silver, gold, platinum. May God be with you. Please, take this coin of life. Sorry, I was speechless. That gives me a lot more than I was expecting. Jesus. Okay, so that is literally a shop for coins. I should have guessed that it was tied to praying. Whoops. Or donating, I mean. Yeah, whatever. Now we know. And now I have... A whole lot of coins. 34. Yeah, I shouldn't have to worry about dying. Do you like this fountain? The water comes from the lake. Oh. Either way, to the underground ruins. Oh, we can actually go... Ah. Under, yeah, underground ruins. Depart. I just want to get that bloody chest that I missed. Worst part is I have to remember how to get there. <laughs> right, either way. Oh! Actually, that's one thing I should probably test. Hmm. No, I remember reading that you can block if you hold down the attack button. But I don't... Don't really see how. How much does that do normally? Yeah, that doesn't... Okay, I don't think it actually does. Oh, yeah. Sod this. I'm outie. Yeah, I'll just leave the ants alone. Like, I don't really care. Nope. I can't remember where it is I need to go. Also, is it just me or does the camera feel a lot more zoomed in? Than it did before. Yeah, there's MP. Oh boy. I can't remember if I go over here. This is where there's a waterfall. I know that. Hmm. That's <laughs> just instant kill. Oh boy. In fairness, I should probably use this just to get the coins because they're worth a fair bit. Oh no! I do a lot of damage though. One thing I don't really understand is why the, the numbers are a different colour. Like sometimes they're blue, and then when I was fighting Rod, they were red. But I don't really understand why. And I'm not actually here to do any farming. I'm hoping the farming I did last session is the only time I'll need to do farming. It's 
specifically just so I could get the, um, whatever it was. It was for the rare wine, so all in all, it was worth it. It's just a shame it took so bloody long. Oh, we don't want to be here. Oh! Yeah, I don't really understand how you're supposed to block. Oh, I, I used fire. No wonder I didn't do anything. Oh boy. What? Ooh, close. I should really switch back to Rue just because we are a lot quicker, but this thing's useful for dealing with the ant. I think it's an ant. It's a big bloody ant, that's for sure. King ant. Yeah, I can't remember if I'm supposed to just go keep going forward. Until it's I keep going forward till I get to the tall wall. Now. At least that's what I remember. We do do. It's such a bloody maze. There we go. I mean, it is increasing my magic slowly. Wait. No, that still isn't the massive one. I think I've screwed up somewhere. <laughs> At the same time, I just want to kill these to get the monster coins. I can get upgrades then. What's not to love? Okay, right. So that goes off toward where the waterfall is. If I go forward again, what does this lead to? Even though I'm supposed to go left to begin with. That might actually be the case. Yeah, because I can still hear the waterfall, so... Go this way. Oh, we're now... Wait, what? Oh, I'm very confused. I'm just gonna <laughs> try this. Oh, I didn't realise this was going to get so confusing. It's fine. All this for a tr bloody treasure. The only thing I'm hoping is in the treasure room I can actually warp out of here. Oh. Ow. Right, so if I go that way it leads to the waterfall, I think. I think where I'm supposed to go is left. To begin with. I'm doing more damage. Yeah, if I go this way. Waterfall. Oh, what the hell? Oh, this hurts my brain. Ow. Hmm. <laughs> I am very confused. There we go. Can I just go all the way back to the beginning, beginning? I mean, I don't want to miss out on monster coins. I'd be stupid not to. It's not like they take much to take down either. Oh. Oh, is this where I cocked up? I wonder. I'm just going to take a chance and go this way then. And then we'll see. No, we're here again. <laughs> what the hell? Now, on the plus side, at least it doesn't do much damage. Right, I'm just going to switch back to Rue and just say, uh, screw this. I just want to go back, because I really am confused at this point. I'm really confused. Everywhere I go just leads to the same place. Seemingly, and it's screwing with my mind. Right, this should be the very beginning, right? It isn't. What? Oh, what the hell have I walked into? Okay, it's just looping. Eh. Now we're at the top of the waterfall. Oh, I'm just very confused. So I'm pretty sure this leads to the bottom of the waterfall. It does. What? Oh god. This just hurts. This just really hurts. Okay, so this will lead to the top. Oh my. Now that we're at the top of the waterfall. Huh. 
Don't plus how they go down quick. I'm very, very confused. I know I'm supposed to follow the waterfall sounds. Oh, that's where there's a treasure. Okay. I think I might be onto something. Maybe. I think I completely forgot that I'm supposed to follow the sound of the waterfall. Yeah. Because the sound of the waterfall is over here. Yeah. Okay, that's all it I needed. Wow, that took way longer than it should have. Sheesh. To be fair, I know exactly why that is. It's because I was trying to find mint. It, like, I was doing the same route that would take you to mint. Oh, I have to do this again? Oh boy. Not like I was actually trying to find mint. She isn't here. There we go. Right, all I should need to do is get to the top of this. And then the chest should be in here, right? Yeah, it should be. Go through this. Boom. Yeah, there we go. Water wheel. Perfect. Aha! Son of a bitch! <laughs> what is up a weight? Ah, there we go. Legendary sword. Is that something I can use? Oh, it looks like a kitchen knife. It certainly is legendary. I can't see. Up. Oh, what a jump! I don't remember which one it is. It's one in the middle, yeah. I missed! Oh my god. Okay, just keep killing yourself. <laughs> keep doing that. What? Mm. Not a fan of the- fuck. Of the platforming. <laughs> I'm just bad at it. Yeah. I shouldn't have gone for that. Fuck. I need to be more patient. How would I even get to that one, actually? I'm gonna have so much more trouble with this than I did the first time. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it just feels like I'm going to. Come on, game. Jesus. Can you fucking jump? God damn. Why do these have janky hitboxes? I can't seem to land on them anymore. Okay. Well, I'm nearly dead. Halfway dead. Hooray! Oh my god. Right, blue. Blue is next. So you've got to jump first and then you move. Right, so it should be... I think it's orange... White? Okay. There we go. Wait. Yeah, it's gonna take me back to where there was a skull piece. I think. I'm just hoping there's gonna be a walk. Out of here? Yeah, that's kinda what I'm banking on at this point. So I don't think there's a good, a quick way of getting back to town, is there? Yeah, not that I see. Hmm. How many monster coins do I have? 25 and 17. That's a fair bit. Alright, can I just get that flower, or whatever it is? I don't even know what the thing is, now that I think about it. The thing that allows you to walk back to town. Oh, there it is. Wait. Oh. I'm not entirely sure what the point in coming down here was. For funsies. Hmm. Maybe in the room with the boulder? Is where I could actually lead? At leave? Hmm. Bum 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 bum. I kind of wish the menu just had, like, a back-to-town option, if it was an area you've already been in. Oh, that's taking me down. Oh. 
Of course. I didn't know that was going to do that. Uh, why let me run all the way down then? There's got to be a flower. Around here. Or something. Yeah, I think I understand how the jumping works. You can't really move then jump. You've got to jump then move. There it is. Thank you. Yes. Hmm. Right, I need to rest. Actually, should, before I do, I should probably go here. Sell the monster coins I have. I'm not entirely sure if I should sell the... sword. I only get a thousand? Wow! That's not that much. Hmm. Whatever. I'll keep the legendary sword. I can't even buy anything from Hobbs. That's the expensive hotel. No thanks. Alright, so now I've actually been back to the underground mystery. Okay, if I didn't buy the 20 bloody bronze coins, I'd have had enough for an upgrade. Well, whatever. Yeah, so now I can actually move on with the game. Alright, do save slot 2. There we go. I think L1 and R1 is what switches between uh, the different memory cards. So memory card 1 and 2. Both of mine are virtual, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, Mel's Atelier. Play the go! Rue! Jeez, not her again. Where do you think you're going? Why do you care? Gosh, you're so rude. Oh yeah, there's something I want to ask you. I heard you're not human, is that true? Who told you that? You know, that girl. Eleanor. Hello, Mint. You guys know each other? Since when? Oh. <laughs> it's our little secret. Hey, Eleanor, is he really a polywog? Yes, I saw him turn into a poly with my own eyes. This is getting ridiculous. So what is it, Rue? Are you a goofball polywog or not? Come on, you can tell me. It's none of your business. Hey, you're my rival, so it is my business. I don't have time for this, I have to get going. <laughs> Fine, if you want to run, go ahead. But remember this, I'm going to keep track of every move you make. You can count on it. Come on, Eleanor. Okay. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> Brilliant. Boo! Why does that camera seem so zoomed in? Maybe it isn't, and I'm just thinking it is. What the hell? What is this place? The doctor was right, this really is strange. Did I just smoke something, or eat something I shouldn't have? What the hell? What? Where am I? What drugs have I been on? What the heck? Is this fancy Mel's Atelier? What the? What a strange sound. Looks like nobody's home. Mel not home. You must wait. You can play while you wait. Oh. What the hell are those? Come, come, play in my world. Giant balls, lots of fun. What the hell? What are these things? Bloody hell. Okay. I guess we're just playing a bunch of minigames. Time? Oh god, not gonna lie, the interface looks a bit janky. What the hell? These are enemies! <laughs> I just jumped and smashed. <laughs> oh no, I fell. Wait. Oh, you restart? Ooh, boy, that's rough. I find it funny that I just pow get pwned. I fell off again. Oh my god. 
I wonder if switching to the thing that shoots out stars would be helpful. Shooting star, probably. Oh, 16. Yeah. Oh, we got each other. Alright, switch back to Rue. Nice, we got him. Why am I getting four health? That's lame. Wait, what? I can't make that jump. Sparkle head slam. I can't make that jump, I don't think. Yeah, I can't. Oh, okay. Hmm. Alright, switch to this. Shooting star. There we go. Back to Rue. There we got it. I don't really know what I could do here. Aside from- oh, maybe... I could jump off of one of those if I can create one. Oh god. Oh, I meant to use that as a platform. Okay. I <laughs> you kidding? Uh, I pressed X. Uh, I pressed circle, but it didn't jump. Oh my god. The controls aren't great for running and jumping. You kind of have to jump, then move. I like the music, though. It's nice. Oh, fuck you. I'm ready! <laughs> Never mind! This is hard. Mostly just because of the platforming being ass. It's not great. It works, but it's janky. Probably due to the game's age, honestly. Crap. Oh god. Ooh, close. Yeah. Oh no, you don't. Right, now I know. I fuck fucked it up. I just I was too impatient, I should have waited. I don't know if I can hit that. No, I can't. So if I attack, I can't move. You kind of just plummet. Which is kind of crap. Oh, the plus I'm getting my health back. It's just annoying having to constantly do this. Why, do I, why am I so much smaller? That's what I want to know. Alright, we got it. I have a really con- I'm just confused. With the big ball, it seems I can't jump off of it because I hit my head on the ceiling or something. It's very odd. But it doesn't seem like they attack, so maybe I'll just get on top and wait. It ate my input. Wonderful. This is just getting annoying, because of, well, these things not working as they should. It's more the fact that it eats my inputs. Got him! Ooh, close. I fucking pressed it, you bitch! Okay, it doesn't matter how hard I press it, so maybe if I just mash... Yeah, I think mashing circle might actually work. Maybe. Probably won't. We'll find out. God, this is dumb though. Ow. That does one damage? Wow. So much. Oh, I'm flattened. Ow. Oh, this sucks. On the plus side, they don't really care. I- oh my god. I hate this. <laughs> Absolutely hate this. Just getting off of that second ball is impossible. 
for some reason. Okay. Oh yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Whoops. My bad. Bailey do. Thank you. Oh my god. Uh oh. Uh. Bastard! Oh my god, why? <laughs> Oh, that's so stupid. I, fa I hate the fucking ball. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's just really inconsistent. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Keep forgetting I need to switch. Okay, I'm gonna be stuck on this for hours. Why do they have to make a block disappear? I was just trying to figure out what I needed to do next. Yeah. Oh no, we were synchronized. The controls do not work. They don't work well for the ball. It seems sometimes it lets you jump, other times it just doesn't. I am surprised that worked. Okay. It's a, again, it's a matter of jumping first. Seems... <sighs> really. I fucking hate this. This is so stupid. Like, the music's good. I, I just... I hate the platforming. Because it just doesn't work. I wonder if I could actually just run straight by when that thing jumps in the air. That might just be what I do because I'm getting impatient. That works. Hooray! It's much quicker. That was dumb. Not a plus that it doesn't hurt, but... Oh my god! <laughs> oh, this game is so shitty! With its controls... God! It's the same kind of thing most games from this, like, time period suffer from. Yeah, where they don't seem to realise that when you're on a, a, a ledge, there's like a small amount of time where you should be able to press the jump and jump right off the edge of a ledge, but you can't. Instead, it would just make you slip off. It's not, you know, you... Oh my god. It's not exclusive to this game. It happens in so many games from this time, which makes them really uh, annoying to play. Hallelujah. 